Hi, Barry Foster here. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number eight. And our final uh, league match of the season, away to Northbridge FC. But before we get to that game, we played three games since our last video. Once again, resulting in a draw, a win and a loss. And probably disappointing all, all round, really. Um, we struggled in uh, the game against Mount Druitt Rangers and... We made it difficult for ourselves and relied on a uh, a late winner from Michael Jeffrey um, against Rydalmere Lions. The three points we gave them got out of the relegation zone, so that was very disappointing as well. And despite dominating um, everything but the XG, um, a nil-nil draw against Southern Districts. Or oh, um, despite dominating the uh, uh or didn't dominate the uh the scoreboard no and we should have no, we should have yeah we've, we've... everybody played well as you can see from those um uh, ratings on the uh the right there but we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net yeah, it was one of those fm games i think we were happy to leave it behind us anyway um as uh, as i said this is our final uh match of the uh the season against uh, northbridge and just a very quick look at the table we're sitting in fourth position on 48 points, Manly United, United are on 59, Bankstown City on 56. Those two will fight it out for uh, top position. And uh, whoever does get top position, they go into the uh, the playoff with uh, eight other sides to see who goes up to um, A-League 3. But um, without further uh, ado, let's go and play Northbridge. Okay, so as it is the last game of the season and we certainly can't improve our position, I think we can be uh, quite calm about the whole thing and just tell the lads to go out there and have a bit of fun. Why not? Well, I mean, we don't want them injured or anything like that, but um, I don't usually like this particular instruction, but in this situation, why not? Unless, of course, there's prize money involved and we don't want to slip too far down the league ladder. Yeah, well, I haven't read anything about prize money so I'm not quite too sure about that but um, I suppose there'd be a little bit of money involved but uh, probably not much Hayhurst with a with a shot he did indeed but unfortunately couldn't keep it down uh, so early goal for Mounties Wanderers in their game against Hills Brumbies but as far as we're concerned, very quiet. Yes, only one shot in the game. So um, maybe both sides, not all that interested. Yeah, well, Northbridge can't be relegated and, you know, we can't be uh, crowned champions or anything like that. So, yeah, I think, the, I think the boys might have clocked off a little bit early. Anyway, maybe uh, this could be the final game for some for some of those players because there's um, quite a few players coming off contract. Well, we've got a big broom and we're not afraid to use it. No, indeed not. And oh, Pintor had an open net there. Yeah, he's scored a few goals like that, which is the way we've got our corners set up. So we're expecting something a little bit better from from him. Anyway, over the halfway mark of the first half, still nil-nil. And uh, Northbridge yet to have a shot. Photocopolis there with a down on, down on fitness with a groin injury. Is he injured, is he? Oh, he's just down on fitness, that's all. Okay, well, this is Ireland. He's got Gonna through. Fit. Oh, he tried to cheap, chip the keeper, but he didn't do a very good job of it. No. Made the keeper look too good. But, um, yeah, there should be a couple of players here that are actually playing for contracts. So expecting a, a little bit better performance. This is a ball. nice ball to Ireland. Oh, once again, <laughs> couldn't beat the keeper. I think he must be on first name terms with that keeper. <laughs> well, I think with that one, he should have uh, maybe got it past him. Could have squared it up, maybe. I never think to do that, or well, very rarely I've noticed. Players will tend to go for the shot instead of a, a pass to a teammate. Mm. Jeffrey. Jeffrey's... Oh, well, there you go. Jeffrey. 
Great he, striker. <laughs> he's definitely playing for a contract, that fellow. I no, he's not. In fact, he's. I'm sorry, he's, he's, he does have a contract for next season. He does. He's still with us for another 12 months. and That'll stop him from getting um, loaned out, I think. It will. <laughs> it will. He's, um, yeah, he's sort of hit his straps for us in the last maybe half a dozen games. Yeah, but he sh- still lacks a certain amount of consistency oh. as a regular goal scorer. Well, he's only twenty. Yeah, he's pretty young, but yeah, it took him a long time to get going. But then, you can say that about the uh, the other two strikers we've used. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, Wandy's quite experienced. He couldn't really do it, and and the youngster, um, Postolopoulos. He yeah. uh, he took he he couldn't take his chance either. Yeah, I think they'll be both getting. Uh, Train ticket into Central Station. I mean, this is young Carey's. Oh, good save. Yeah, Carey's has come back. He's uh, offside, I think. Oh. So I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have counted. But anyway, two minutes about a time. Carey's again. Anyway, Jeffrey's <laughs> going back to halfway. Well, he's got a lot of enthusiasm, I think. He's, uh, he's scored a goal. Oh, I've never got to hold the ball up. Oh, no. Here he goes. He tries his luck again, but slightly mm-hmm. off target. Into the advertising hoarding. Anyway, I think that's going to be half time, and it is one nil to the Spartans. Um, certainly, when you look at the match stats, it's been really all mm. Spartans, so they've uh, deserved that one nil lead. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, so the game's going well. I mean, all the numbers are in our favour, so I think we can be. I'm happy with no gesture, and I'm delighted with your performance. So keep it up. I mean, it's. We've taken all the pressure off them. We just don't want them to collapse in the second half. No, well, I guess it'd be nice to um, finish the season with a, with a victory. Um, although, from memory, I don't think we can count, catch um, Mounties Wanderers. No, no, we can't do that. But, I mean, you always remember your last game, and Jeffrey is certainly making us remember him. Well, most of the players are performing quite um, quite well, apart from maybe Barna at uh, right back. Anyway, Ward with uh, a throw. I mean, what's he doing on the right hand side? I'm not sure. <laughs> he's really. A, I think he's um, he's down for um, taking throws. We should do oh. something about that. I think, especially in if future. we play him on the left. Anyway, this is young Carey's to Jeffries again. Oh, no. That was a good opportunity. Yeah. But he, uh, he got under it. Blasted under it. over the bar again. But um, now, once again, I mean, we, we've kept them at bay for this first period of time. So I mean, it's going to be fitness more than anything else that's going to dictate substitutions, I think. Well, uh, I think uh, we might... Uh, Take off Barner, I think, and we might uh, bring on uh, uh, Tanner for Barner, and just swap him with. Yeah, we'll swap um, Tanner and uh, Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward can. Um, he can now do his throw-ins without being out of position. That, that's right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, on the right. So, um, and it looks it looks as though Manly might be um, claiming uh, the title here. Well, they've been the pace setters all year, so no real surprise, but they're, they're finishing the job in emphatic style. Whoops. No, anyway, I thought is... he was going to run onto that. Anyway, Mitchell Evans has had not much to do in this game. But uh... Uh, we're knocking it about, which is a lot better than our play in the first part of the season so teamwork's certainly improved i think teamwork's are really important in uh in this game i think it's uh, one of the most important pieces of training you can do and this is jeffrey's again will he try his luck he oh, does block shot but here comes ward for the cross um too close to the keeper hmm. Keeper's getting a sore back, I think, from saving. Although we've only had three shots on target, I thought that'd be more than that. Anyway, look, we make, um, I think, another sub, and why don't we bring on young Amiko, who's been out injured for an awful long time, bring him on for um, Ireland. Yeah. Give him a run 
on the right wing and um, maybe we'll do a last substitution in, a, in about 10 minutes in the game and yeah, keep powder dry for the last 10 but uh, once again nobody's really letting the side down with their performance and uh, a 1-0 well at this stage another 1-0 win so despite Northbridge changing their formation around still haven't been able to threaten us and here we go let's make the final substitution let's bring on Mark Sendrick who's had um, a bit of a bad run with injuries yeah give him a run on the uh, the left wing some of our midfielders are getting a little bit exhausted but um, it's only 10 minutes to go so they can they can spin it out for another few minutes I'm sure and we'll call out some praise to the boys because really they've outplayed Northbridge right from the opening whistle Be a bit cruel if Northbridge came back with a late equaliser. <laughs> the FM gods are listening, so mm, just, don't be laugh. Quiet. just be quiet. <laughs> and they do have possession. They Four do. minutes of added time. It's not a bad ball out there to their winger. Ooh. And that's yeah, well over the bar. Yep. Gabe Evans some jumping exercise to do. But all we've got to do is hold possession for the next maybe two and a half minutes. Yeah. I don't think I'm asking too much. No, I think they've got the, um, got con well, it's about to say they've got control of the ball, but they will certainly make it awkward for themselves, but they've won it back. That was a good interception by Ward, but that's not a very good through, through ball. No, Jeffrey is not that quick. No, and he's, um, I think his best position is that of a poacher from memory. Yeah, I think it was too much weight on the pass, but. Anyway, this is Sendrick. See him on the field. Can he get a good cross in? Will he no. get a corner? Okay, so where's Mr. Bandor and Mr. Pinto? Are they coming up from the back? They're on the far post, but there's Ooh, a good Pinto, header. But he couldn't direct it on target. No. Anyway, probably a minute left in the game. Northbridge, maybe with one last opportunity to get an equalising goal. Will certainly be undeserved. That's right, they haven't really done much at all. But a good header by Bandor. That's right, just clear it upfield. <laughs> we don't really care. No, just clear it. <laughs> Oh, bit of gap there. So Ward. He's been a good fullback, Ward. I must admit he's very rarely played poorly. Yeah, he's uh, he's done well for us and certainly certainly a player we'd like to have for next year. Interesting cross for Sendrick. Mm. It's never really on. As was that pass no, so yeah, easily yeah, cut out. Yeah, it was a nice squandered possession. And that's it. All there is and there ain't no more. One nil to the Spartans, uh, courtesy of Michael Jeffries in the 39th minute. Yeah, so it looks like there'll be beers in the ice tub or in the ice baths rather than uh, players as we celebrate the end of the season. Okay, so let's go and chat to the boys for the final time. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a nothing sort of a game. There wasn't really anything hanging on it, but I think we can give them all outstretched arms and say, well done, that was a good win for us. Okay, let's see um, if Manly did take out the title. Okay, so Manly finish on top of the tree. What, um, Bankstown, Wanderers and, and Spartans, top four. So just, yeah, just a damn shame that we couldn't get much closer. No, well, when you look at the three teams above us, they had much better goal difference than us with just um, a plus six. So uh, there was a bit of difference between um, the four the four sides, but I reckon that was a pretty good finish for us to come come fourth. Yeah, yeah. Really? I mean, when you consider that the media and the, the board's expectations were mid-table, um, happy with that, but it just goes to highlight the need that we, we need to put a broom through some of our players for next year to challenge. 
Well, yes, we've got to um, sit down and do that. And um, as you can see, this is all confirmation here. Man United secure the playoff spot. Remember in this league, if you come first, it's not a, an automatic um, promotion position and they are crowned champions. So um, well done, Manly United. Um, I don't know whether we mentioned this before. We did get a new contract um, yeah. from the, the board. So we're here for next season, which is um, good, to, good to know. Yeah, happy with, uh, with the extension. I mean, 12, 12 months, we've got a lot of work to do. And um, I think we can meet the board's expectations reasonably well. Okay, well, let's go and find out about the end of season review. And here we are with the Blacktown Spartans end of season review for the 21 season. Let's take a look at the new arrivals. Yeah. So three major signings, I guess, at the beginning of our uh, campaign. So that was Jacob Bandor at centre back who played, well, he was probably our standout. I think he had 30 appearances. Uh, for a pretty creditable rating of 6.99. So I think he was uh, he was pretty good. Yes, and the board were quite content with that deal. And then we had Mondi Jajor. The board might be giving him an A-, minus, <laughs> but that's all to do with, uh, I think, wages, because really he was quite disappointing up front. Yeah. Two goals from uh, 19 appearances. Although his rating was good, he had five assists, but um, yeah. we wanted him to score goals. Yes, and um, two goals in 19 appearances just wasn't good enough. Rather uh, rather poor. And also Stefan Todorowsky, who really was a, um, a backup centre-back. Yeah, the board aren't too pleased with uh, the, with the deal to to bring him in. Uh, maybe we did pay a little bit over the odds for him, but um, we we needed him. So we and we stuck within our wage budget. So I don't think they could be that disappointed. No, no. Anyway, the uh, the season's results. Um, this is uh... well, how it all unfolded. We've got the uh, the Waratah Cup, which we uh, we, we uh, got knocked out rather quickly by yes. Prospect United 1-0. But um, the board weren't judging us on performances and we got knocked out in the second round. So if they don't care, we certainly don't care. No, it's, it's interesting that um, we don't have here the, uh, the season results for um, the league. Yeah, well, that's I, just for the Waratah Cup. Maybe. Yes, I thought it might have appeared here as well. But anyway, mm. moments to remember. The biggest win was a 4-0 um, beating of Northern Tigers. Yes, that was late on in the season. And it was actually the, yeah, our, our best best performance. But it wasn't enough to uh, get us into the, the mix, into the finals. And the match to remember apparently was a 1-0 victory over the Mount Druid Rangers. Um away from home and the goal of the season goes to um, Kruljar in that 4-0 mm. uh, win over the Tigers. Yes, he um, he smacked it out in from outside the box, if I, I recall. So, um, yeah, good performance from him. And the finances, well, not too bad. No, I think we we kept a lid on... Uh, on wages, uh, obviously you don't um, you don't pay much in transfer budgets, so uh, on transfer expenses. So the revenue was all all important, and probably down to um, down to crowds, which I think were probably a little bit disappointing. And uh, how do we line the boys up? Well, that's a pretty familiar mm. uh, line up there uh, with a four three three. At the beginning, I think we were playing with a defensive midfielder, but uh, we didn't really have the cattle to, to do that. So we went to a, a flat three, I think, early on in the season. And, and that's pretty much as we would see our strongest starting 11, I would have thought, there with Jeffrey now as our, um, as our main striker. Well, he got nine goals to the season, so he did um, seven better than um, Wandy. Yes. So um, I'm not surprised that he uh, he's uh, he's on that uh, line up there. Um, the, the accolades. Okay. Well, this is um, we'll quickly run through some of these um, mm. club awards. Fans player of the season was Cindric. 
Um, Ireland got the young player of the season. That's interesting. Yeah. Young player. Signing of the season went to Bandor. Yeah. Uh, Cruel Show got the goal. Top goal scorer was Jeffrey with only <laughs> not. He couldn't even get to double figures. Yes. Um, Sindrick did well with assists. Um, look, um, and uh, Fotakopoulos was quite good completing passes. Yeah, sixty-six um, percent. Cindric was uh, Cindric was injured for for quite a while too. So probably all goes well for next season for him if he can do those numbers with being um, being injured. And record breakers. Well, uh, Jeffrey got nine goals for the season. Uh, he also got a. Uh, a hat trick in one of those matches. Yeah, I think he scored eight of those goals in about his last eight appearances. I think so. <laughs> yeah, poor old Wandy did get five assists. Uh, uh, clean sheets went to um, Michael Michael Evans. Sorry, Mitchell Evans with um, ten. Mm. Um, and I really, oh, the oldest goal scorer, poor old Wandy Jajor, at uh, yeah. thirty-one years, two hundred and twenty-five days. Yeah, not really much there. And the uh, competition awards, well, nothing. Nothing. Because we didn't so, win anything. <laughs> well, I thought it, it might have given us an uh, honourable mention at first or second or, uh, yeah, not to be. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, that's the, uh, the wrap of uh, our season. So that's the end of um, season one with... Um, with the Blacktown Spartans, anything else you want to say before we go? Well, I was just going to say maybe we could just have a look at the board's... Um, uh, the board's expectation of us, well, what they expect next year. Okay, well, they're um, they're expecting the usual of work within a wage budget and once again a top half finish in the league. Hmm. Um, well, quite doable. Which we gave them uh, this this uh, this season, and after that, they that's what they're looking for for upcoming seasons all the way through until um, end of twenty six. Yeah, so I guess it's um, just going to be interesting to see what sort of budget they do give us for our wages next year. So um, we'll, we'll look forward to a, a nice juicy allocation next year and next well, season. That's true. Already um, so some of the players have left, left us. We've got plenty of money in the wage budget at the moment. Just before we go, um, we do have a, a new player coming in on loan, I think from um, Sydney FC. Hmm. A young midfielder, only 18, but I think he could be a decent player for us in uh, midfield. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to welcoming him. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll spend the, the close season hunting for, hunting for players. We do, and uh, maybe doing um, a bit of a hunt for um, staff as well. But anyway, that's the, uh, the end of uh, this particular episode of Antipode and Journey. Hope you have enjoyed the uh, the episode. I hope you've enjoyed the season. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next season, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And I'm Gary Foster. It's goodbye from him. <laughs>